Greetings students, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to use Google Sheets to learn how to do our taxes. So it's that time of year to get our taxes done and if you don't have much in the way of assets or capital or anything like that, just you just have a job, you get paid, you're able to do your taxes yourself. So what I have down on the screen next to me here is a breakdown of the taxes for the current year that I'm filming this video. As you can see with single, the 10%, 12%, all the way down to 37%, that applies over here to married as well. So as you can look here at single from zero to 98.75, you get charged 10% on your taxes for that amount of money. If you're married, it's from zero to 19.750 that you get charged 10%. Now our taxes here are a progressive or a graduated system, meaning that if you make, for example, if you're single and you make $85,525, you're not paying taxes 22% on all of that. You're getting taxed at the certain levels. So on the first $9,875, you're taxed 10%. The next up to 40,000, you're taxed from 9,876 to 4,125, you're taxed at that percent. So you subtract the highest number from the lowest number on that level, then you multiply that by the percentage. So let's get to it. So let's say you're single. Single, no kids, and I'll explain why that is helpful later. Hit tab. Let's say your income is about $60,000. Hit enter. I don't want that to be a percent. I want that to be cash. So I'm going to click on that and I'll tap on the dollar sign. So you make $60,000. Let's make this cell a little bit bigger. So I just move my mouse up here. So I get the two arrows and double click and it stretches it out. Now, you're not taxed on that $60,000 outright. You do have some deductions, and if you look on the sheet here, there are a couple deductions. You get a $12,400 deduction for each person and for each child that you have. So if you're single, you have no children, it's just you. So I'll just put down deductions or deduct, and I'm just gonna type in equals and just click on the 12.4 right here because it'll just type in the number there for me automatically. And I don't want that to be a percent, Actually, I'm wondering if all these are percents. I'm going to click and highlight and turn all that into currency. So, so that was my net income, my gross income. Gross ink is basically the $60,000. So I type in equal. Always start off a function with the equal sign. Tells the computer that you're doing some kind of function. Click on the 60,000 minus, click on the 12.4. So I'm only taxed on the $47,600. Now to figure out what your taxes would be, all you basically do is this. I look at my number 47.6. If I look under single, 47.6 falls in between 40,000 here and 85,000 here. So you'd be taxed at that 22% bracket. But again, the whole income isn't taxed at 22%. Just the range from 40,126 to 47,600 will be taxed at 22%. Everything else will be taxed at a different percentage. So I'm just gonna highlight this section right here and we'll just click on that bucket and make it oh, that color right there. So if I look, I'm on that third tier, that third level, whatever you wanna call it. So to figure out my taxes, I'm just gonna write down the different levels. Level one, level two, Level, level three, let's fix that, click up there, three, level four, I'm just going to put them all down, one, two, three, four, five, there's seven of them, one, two, three, four, five, let's go up to level seven. bold because I used that for something else. So let's click on the B to unbold it. Let's, it's centered, so let's click on this guy right here and align to the left. So to figure out my different levels, basically up until that third level, this is the one where I'm going to level three. So for levels one and two, I just subtract my biggest number from my smallest number right here and then multiply that by 10%. So I'll type in equal. Let's open the, let's use parentheses because we have to subtract first. So we're going to do 9875, so I'll tap on that, minus the zero. And then I multiply that by 10%. And it calculates for me. So for that first 
$9,000, I'm gonna be paying about $900 in taxes, close to a thousand. Do the same thing for the second level, equals, open the parenthesis, uh, 4125 minus 9876, close the parenthesis, multiply all that by 12%, enter. So on that second range, you're paying about $3,600 in taxes. And then finally for the third level, now that we're at the third level and our gross income is 47.6, now I type in equals, open the parenthesis. So I tap on the 47.6, because that's the maximum number in that level for me in this case. Subtract that from the lower level, which is 40,126. Close the parentheses, multiply that by 22%, enter. So right now, to figure out my total tax, I just add up those three numbers. I'll just type in equals sum. That's just to add up a whole bunch of numbers because I don't want to click on all these. I'm going to open the parentheses. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here and drag all the way down to level seven. And you can see I get a running total as I go down each row there. And end there, so if I want to add anything else later, I don't have to change my functions later on. Close the parenthesis. So right now, if you are a single person making $60,000, you're paying $6,261.66 in tax. So you can estimate that. So when you write out your W-4 form, W forms, you could say, hey, I want these certain amount of deductions given out. So that way, that much money is taken out total throughout the year. Let's say you're married, no kids. Let's say your income, let's say the income again is $60,000. Uh, now that our deductions, we have two people in this because we're married, so our deductions is going to be equal to that 12.4, and I'm going to multiply that by two because there are two of us. And no kids, so I don't have to worry about that. Our gross income, once again, is this number minus this number. So I'll type in equal L3 minus L4, enter. So if you're married with no kids and you're making $60,000, you're now taxed at this rate right here, $35,200. Let's see if I can make that into, let's get those decimals to double up. One, two, just to be consistent with the other one. So already when it comes to the taxes, being married, you're gonna be paying less in taxes. And in fact, you're not at this second level anymore being married. So now I'm gonna use the numbers from the married section for my taxes, but the idea is still the same. You do equal, open the parenthesis, go to the first level, the biggest number there, minus the smallest number there, okay. multiply by 10%, boom. So you're paying that much in taxes for the first level. And now for the second level, since 35,200 is in between 197 and 80,200, I just do, I just click on my gross income and now subtract, oops, I forgot my parentheses. So open the parentheses, I'll subtract my gross income minus the smaller number there. Close the parenthesis, multiply by 12%, hit enter. I'll type in equal sum, not sun, sum, open the parenthesis, click up level one, drag down to level seven, close the parenthesis, enter. So a married couple making the same amount of money as a single person is paying $3,829 in taxes. Just basic, almost half, about we'll say about two thirds what the single person's making, but that single person's got a lot of money for themselves. For the last bit, we're gonna do married with one kid. So let's say married one kid. And again, $60,000. Add up all your deductions. That's gonna be equal to this guy, 12.4 times two. And then add the child. So you can take away $26,000 there. So the my gross income is just 60,000 minus that, enter. So let's make all these into decimals. Oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32
two decimal places. All right. So I look at that 33.2. Again, that's in that second level. So, and for the ease of doing this, it's just 1975 for here. And now for this guy, it's gonna be equal. Open the parentheses. So we're gonna subtract that minus the lo lowest number on married, the level two, and multiply that by 12%. And let's add all that up. So having a kid, you're saving yourself about uh, $300 in your taxes. The more kids you have, you can add more deductions on there. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. I'll include a Google Sheet with this assignment for my students. I'll be putting tax brackets on there. Your job is going to just calculate different taxes for different types of people that I give you on the worksheet. For the rest of you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure, make sure you share, like, subscribe, and always keep on mathing.